Hi, Ryan here with Accelerate Marketing. I'm coming to you from beautiful La Jolla Beach in California. And what I'm doing is, is I'm just, you know, I was, I just met with a customer, and I get this question all the time. You know, I got this question from this customer, and I get it all the time. So I figured I'd, I'd talk about it while I was, you know, walking down the beach here on this just beautiful day. But I wanted to. What, what happened is, is you know, th this customer asked me or had said that they thought that maybe he was getting some fake reviews. And so, you know, number one, he wanted to know like what to do about it, what he could do about it. And then number two, what he wanted to figure out is, is you know, how do you know if if it's a fake review or not? So the answer to the first question is, is if it's a, if it's a Google Plus review, you can you'll see a little flag button below the review itself. You want to click on that flag button and then identify it as one of the four different types of reviews that that you can potent, you could potentially object about and potentially have removed. I just will let you know that typically Google does not remove many reviews. Obviously, one of the reasons would be for anything that's that's defamatory or explicit in nature, they would remove those type of reviews. So you can definitely go that route in terms of flagging the review. Now, the other the other thing that a lot of people want to know is, well, how do I know if it's a fake reviewer? Well, one thing you can look for is, is click on the person's name and see if they left any other reviews. You know, you, you can actually see if they left any other reviews. If they haven't, most likely it's, a, it's probably a fake review. I mean, it, it's probably on a fake account. If there's no picture associated with their Google Plus page, etc., then it's probably a fake review. And then also the other thing is, is look to see if anybody else has left reviews around the same time. If you see multiple reviews on your account, and they're around the same time and they're both one or two star reviews and especially if they're using language that a normal person wouldn't use like if you're a dentist for example and that person might be talking about you know soft spots on a tooth I mean that's not something that an average patient is going to know about or somebody that's irate about service is going to be knowledgeable about they're going to be talking about the service they're not going to be talking about you know, like specific dental procedures or using di specific dental, you know, terminology. So look look at that. And then also, if you see that, uh, that there's another person around the same time that's leaving or has left a review, you want to look at their account and see if they maybe have left a review for somebody, like maybe the same business that that other person left a review for. Because what will happen is, is you can buy fake reviews. You can actually purchase as many fake reviews as you want from Fiverr and other other locations. But what's really interesting is is that is that when um, when this happens, that fake review will actually be left by two different accounts. And what will happen is is that second review that both those people are leaving that also left a review on on your website or on your Google Plus page, they'll also leave a review for another business typically. That's the same business as, you know, so that second review is the same too. So that's a, that's a hint that it's probably a fake reviewer because what they're doing is they just created that account for the purpose of leaving derogatory, derogatory reviews. And what it is is most likely a reputation management or marketing company that is hiring people from other countries to set up these fake accounts and leave multiple fake reviews using these fake pro personal profiles on these on these different uh, accounts so I hope that answers your question I hope that kind of gives some clarity on that um, anyway just want to create some content on that let me know if you have any questions please uh, plus or rate this uh, you give it a thumbs up this video and uh, let me know what other questions you have and uh, I'll talk to you soon thanks